Welcome to this survival series in No Man's Sky and we're starting in the cockpit of the flying brick. Now if you watched the previous video you'll be aware that I made a little bit of a, a rookie error is probably the best way to describe it is that the main mission took us to a crashed ship site and we um, found a pretty nice looking explorer it was a B-class explorer and of course I jumped into it because I wanted to claim it and of course that meant that I lost um, the location of the flying brick which was parked out here and so that left me next to a damaged ship with the flying brick in the distance now at the end of that video and, and again I would like to say a big thank you for comments and feedback because one of you guys suggested that I do a spiral search I didn't exactly do a spiral search but I, I went out in what I thought was the direction of the ship and I, I couldn't find it I'll be honest I, I went out in loops trying to find it and I couldn't so in the end what I had to do was repair the the uh, Explorer and that turned out to be a little bit longer process than I thought it would do in fact it took me about an hour and a half to repair the Explorer and then find the flying brick and the reason for that is that if I show you here there's no major deposits of uh, ferrite dust on this planet that I could find so I was literally having to go around collecting that and of course I made another mistake in the sense that what well, I actually left my um, portable refiner um, somewhere else and it's gone and so I had to go around here and, and at the same time when I was trying to do this there was a sentinel hanging around he seems to have cleared off and that meant that every time I went and hit something like that I got um, the, the sentinel was investigating I'm just going to get rid of you so it became a little bit of a protracted process trying to get the ship repaired and also by building up the available resources but quite strangely once I got the ship repaired I, I found this ship re relatively quickly in fact almost immediately I took off and flew around a bit and I saw it parked here I think the reason why I couldn't find it on foot is was the fact that all these uh, I don't know if you call them trees or whatever they are down here um, kind of um, restricted my visibility now I know at the moment it looks like um, this ship should have been easy to spot because it was in a completely open area but that's down to the fact that I've done a bit of tree clearance here to build up some reserves there's also a worm burrow down there which is reset and um, I've already had, um, taken, had one go at that and it got a little bit exciting with the horrors uh, so I'm just going to give you an update of where we are. You can see uh, here's the flesh rope I got from taking down that horror. I did a little bit of an experiment with the um, making some glass. Now I did get a suggestion from someone who said I if I should I install the geology cannon. In fact, I'm going to do it because one thing I am going to need is um, we're going to dismantle that. Yeah, that's what they said. We get a wiring loop because. What I want is, uh, we've got a wiring loom that I need to put in here to get the advanced mining laser in, which I really missed. And then well, there's also, we needed wiring looms to repair the start, uh, ship. I don't, I think, and we also need a wiring loom for the teleporter receiver and the, uh, got micropressors. I think I would like that economy scanner um, installed. We need five of them. Okay. Uh, why won't it? Why won't that? That's misleading me, isn't it? Now we got two of those. It says one wiring loom. It won't let me. What happened to the wiring loom? Okay, the game's misleading me, isn't it? <laughs> it said I was going to get a wiring loom and I didn't get one because of the dodgy thing so oh. of course we won't get that back oh well yes we, we live and learn we live and learn I've also got a memory fragment here which is actually it says ingest via the uh, this here ingest via the suit nutrient system an expired there's the shattered remnants of an expired traveler, which was an unknowable name. The memory of the manifest important technology upgrades. 
I got this from a grave that was I found by accident as well. So what we got here, launch thruster module. Um, we could certainly do with installing that. Um, launch thrusters are over there, so we'd have to put that in there. you there that gives us a little bit of a boost um, 10, minus 10% 10 launch cost uh, booster cost um, I've also built up some ship fuel and some life support gels and also some the iron batteries but what we're gonna need to do is go to the space station and try and sell off some of this stuff because I've, I've got a little bit of a pile up of resources where I got a bit carried away and also in here, um, I, I, what have we got here? We've got 1,300, 364, 368. I think what I will do before we leave is I'm gonna put this back out. And I'm gonna... I think we're going to make some nanites just before we leave. I think nanites is going to be slightly more than the money. We could probably sell the other stuff as well. So just um, pick this up. Yeah. Right, there's a another bird there we can sell. And he missed that one. And I am going to remember to pick this up. And I think it's time to leave. And what I want to do in this part is we're going to carry on following the mission. Not alone amongst the stars. I think we've got to. Lone myth like this the stars. And in fact we could go to the space station. Answer the communication. There's Artemis entity, we received your signal. Is it first, is it last? And three little dots. Time for the truth. You have their signal, but you are not Artemis entity. Tell the truth. Your signal is familiar to Nada. We have been we've been in contact before, I think. This would be a good time to come aboard, yes. A proper introduction to our home. Okay, so it means we've now got the access to the space anomaly, but I think I'd like to get back to the space station and sell off some space before we get into the space anomaly. Um, so we're gonna get to the space station first and have a little bit of a sell-off. I think we'll go for the backroom trading center. Oh, look at that heavy coupon. Last one, oh, look at that. We actually got a special slot on this one. At 1.4 million. It's tempting. Um, but still only a C class. Um, all right, we're just gonna get in here. And we're going to sell some stuff. Well, we'll sell the Garberry. Some navigation data to here. I think I'd like to sell the salvage data. That would give us um, defense chip slash rope. Sell the Gek Relic. That would give us up to only 1.8. Sell the glass um, and sell the chlorine. Um, and of course, if we come to buy, let's see what the. Yeah, 248,000. 104,000 for a microprocessor. Don't be kidding me. Um, this is expensive. Can I make a micro? Oh, we got 
flesh rope. Why didn't I sell that? I want to sell the flesh rope as well. It's there, 47,000. I'd keep the ammonia just for the moment. Did I make any microprocessor yet? No, we haven't got the formula for a microprocessor at the moment. I'm very tempted for that. No, 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 no. Okay, journey milestone accomplished. We are a tycoon. And I think what we'll do now is go to actually would like the advanced mining laser. Um, we only need two wiring looms for that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to because we can summon the anomaly anywhere. So if we go back to space stations, go back to the previous space station. So here we are back at the previous one. Yeah, we'll get to the anomaly fine. These are a lot cheaper, but buying two of them is still going to cost me a lot. But I think it's going to be worth it to get the advanced mining laser. Well, let me get that fixed. And we can always take this off if when we get another, um, what we call it. Right, now the starship. We've got antimatter for that. Economy microprocessor. Could have, we'd have to buy three microprocessors and two wiring loom, three, was it three wiring looms? Um, one wiring loom. Right, so if we buy three, that would be 300,000. I think I would like the economy scanner, so we're gonna buy one, two, three of those, and one of those. We're putting this into the ship. Because the good thing about the economy scanner is that it, you can see here it says an upgrade to the Starship's galactic sensor allows the user to access details of a comic data, economic data about a system without having to visit it. So that gives us a little bit more scope for things. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is go to the anomaly. And we can meet Nada and Polo. And what we should get now is this symbol, which means we can... And we're... Get into the space anomaly. And here we are. Of course, what we got here is the community missions. We got Mr. Quicksilver here. Now, I could be really cheeky because if I come into here and come to collection expedition rewards, we go down. I could get an organic frigate, but we don't have a, a freighter at the moment. But if I go all the way down, where is it? We've got the Golden Vector. This is an exclusive spaceship. This is a highly maneuverable spacecraft. It is constructed from a durable and precious alloy, coated with a tough layer of fibrous insulation. Endure many lifetimes worth of rigorous space exploration. 
So we could get that, and that would give me a top level ship, but I'm not going to do that. I know some of you will say, well, why, why, why aren't I going to do that? The reason is that I just want to stay with the flavour of the mission at the moment, and uh, that, that ship would give me quite a big leg up. So we're going to wait for, um, we're going to leave that for the moment. Let me see, we've got loads of stuff in here. And I think this is one of the things about the difference between an existing player like me, who's been probably been around a lot, lot longer than I should have been, and a new player. Because starting over again, I, I can pull a lot of perks out of that Quicksilver, which is, would not be accessible to a new player. And what I want to do is carry on playing like a new player at the moment. Ah, young one, you, you, well, you who roam the boundaries of this universe, how I envy you. My time out of reality is long past. I do not wish it. Perhaps you might uh, help an old soul and share things that you see. If only if I, if I could once again sense creatures. Right, we're giving dead creatures. Because this will give us nanites. So we got 100 nanites. And then we can go over and talk to over here. I can never remember which web this one is. This is Ares. The other one is Artemis. Traveller hope to make progress. The traveller tests themselves. I have exchanged progress of wealth and experience materials. Transmit milestone data. Uh, you do not understand. Not for me, you know. Look at that. We got 1100 nanites. We don't get that all the time. Then we got um, Mr. Kronos here, which we can exchange recipes for. We got an egg sequencer. And. I think this is the um, appearance modifier, so we can make ourselves look even better than we already are. And then, of course, when we come up into here, and find a specific and we select the solution log. Okay. Um, place anomaly is. We're going to go and talk to Nada. I am pre sentity Nada, Divergent Corvax. Welcome to our anomaly. Our home is, ple is pleasant, yes. Polo's own design. A perfect bubble beyond the Sentinels, beyond Ventral Corvax. Nada watches time come and go. Ask about Artemis. Traveller entity, perhaps you are known to you, but I do not know their number. Nada d do not care or think about the iterations as numbers. They are lost to us, highly improbable. Our anomaly is lost to the Sentinels, but none should be lost to the anomaly. Corvax watches me. There, there is patience and organic tilt in the way they hold their metal shell. Um, ask about Nada. Nada awoke with the death of the Corvax Prime. Could not understand why such things happen. Why we are alone. Now I am divergent. The Convergence do not see through my eyes. No, I think... It's quite important to iterate that this is a lot of backstory to the Corvax and the relationship between the different um, life forms. Nada is not alone anymore. Nada is with Polo Friend. Not many other friends visit. Our convergence is small, but ha Nada is happy. Nada's carapace pulses were gentle, like there's something familiar about them. Ask about Polo. Polo Friend found Nada, found my signal. Nada is safe. Now Nada finds other signals and makes them others safe. The station has been calling to me since I woke up on the off, on the planet. Perhaps I, I, it called to Artemis as well. Ask about the space station. Beyond what is outside, our anomaly wanders free. Free like Nada to observe and search. The Sentinels, the Atlas, they do not care about this place. I feel their eyes hunting us. Nada watches me, judging my reactions as I speak. Yeah. Speak with Polo, friend traveller. Perhaps he might know more about the missing Artemis. These perceived things make more clearly than Nara. Okay, and Polo's over here. What does it say? Polo. Friends, every, friends everywhere. If only you know where to look. Friends in all shapes, sizes, and all places. Artemis friend, you are where they should be. Does not seem possible, but all things are possible, such as in this universe. We will find them, no doubt. There's always a signal, always a trace. Ask how. Our home will see to it. When you leave, you will not be where you were. You will be closer. Or maybe not. Discovery is exciting, yes. Before you leave, perhaps spend some time with other friends. We all help each other here. So that's the kind of... Says, speak to the tra um, other travellers to our nanites. Um, yeah. 
um, learn about technology blueprints again. Of course, I'm not in multiplayer, so I don't, I can't talk to other travellers. But we can come down here, and the first thing on the list is, um, yeah. And we're going to spend twenty-four thousand on. Spend that. Upgrade. And of course, we've got the construction terminal, but I've spent all my salvage data, which is not a problem. Uh, this is the starship upgrade, a special offer, research starship. Um, I'm not conflict scanner. I'm not. I mean, we got a phase beam here, which will upgrade the phase beam, but I'm not particularly that worried. I mean, the shield generator would be nice. Um, that would give us extra shield strength against the opposition. And again, it needs wire. We really need wiring looms for everything, aren't we? Uh, I'm more interested in over here. We've got a dinky little weapon, but what I'm really after is over here. Multi tools, yes. And where is it? Bolt caster, bolt caster. Oh, no, it's the wrong one, isn't it? We've got. Waveform Recycler. Ah. Oh. It's Exosuit Research. Sorry. Got that. Um, research Exosuit. That's what I'm after. We, so we're going to have to open the hazmat gloves. Which we can install. Hazmat gloves are useful because it allows us to pick up toxic items. Which can add a thing. And we're going to get the personal refiner because that is something else. I don't think we need anything else in here. Uh, research exosuit. Translators, no rush for that. We've got a trade rocket. I'm not sure I'm going to need that. Um, I don't think we need any environmental protection. We've got life support tanks there. I think the rest can wait for the moment. I do want to do is that this is the reason why I stocked up on some uh, chromatic metal and oxygen. We've got a personal refiner now, and I'm just going to put in the hazmat gloves. As well. So. What this does is allows us to pick up um, farm, farmable flora and hazardous substances. This gives us the personal refiner, which means I can now um, do anything. And all inverted. We gotta put. That means I, I can get rid of this thing. And we're not gonna get anything for it. We can't sell it, but okay, we can now discard that. That gives us a bit more space in there. And we're now ready to go out and explore. Exclusive phase rewards earned on expeditions available in all saves. Collector. What's available, yeah. We go this way. We got. Do for clues about Artemis. Because we've got to talk to these guys just to see. Puss. And um, say so you have. Okay, this is the narrows his eyes, judging the moment we not respect. I reached out on the tip of my fingers. I woke on the anomaly, I was transformed. The gateway does not have a power, not with respect. Mercury returns with nods and understand the simple gesture. Now we do have somebody down here. This is fine. Is it Helios the Grand Allen? Helios will request new data for each type. Yes, uh, I've done that already. But we, okay, we'll, we'll follow the mission. Um, he might give us some more nanites. So uh, go talk to Helios. Okay. 
follow this around. Our young one, yes, okay, we probably... Thank you, little one. Well, we got another 125 nanites. <laughs> <Okay>. Technology researcher. <laughs> okay. Well, what we... I should have done this the proper way, shouldn't I? Rather than just get your head research. Like... I'm not going to buy anything... Of course, we got nothing to open there, so just get through there. Speak to Nada about Artemis. Ah. Let's tell me we've got to go all the way through this game. There are many. Have you seen them, Traveller? Regrets. Ask what to do. Mm -hmm. Traveller entity is free to make their own path. Find Artemis entity. Explore the others. Travel with great sights. Proceed as you will, Traveller Entity. We will aid you and others will aid you, but he, he also, even if you seek the Crimson Liar. Who's the um, Crimson Liar? Is going to be Atlas, isn't it? Crimson Liar, Atlas, false entity callbacks, but Nada knows better. Nada knows where it dwells. Nada chooses to disregard it. But if the Traveller Entity wishes to seek it, Nada will help. Nada wishes you to be safe. Uh, ask for help about exploration. Of course, Nada will mark the map with, with a great wonder. But take your time with your journey. Find your path and speak to others in this station. Yes. Okay. Um, let's talk to Polo again. I think you can. Okay, he's not going. He's not going to talk to me. Right. It says return to space. And we'll see where we can go. So we uh, get back into the ship. Um, drop a save. Not that it makes that much difference. Incoming message. Um, dot 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 dot. Z, z. Is there anyone out there? It's outside it. Something's wrong with it. Identify yourself. I tell the stranger that I can hear them, but there's a moment's pause. The only sound I can hear is the background hiss of cosmic radiation. You, are, you, you found me. There's a little light I thought I'd never hear. Another soul again. I really did. How did you find my voice? Uh, you say you've found a crash ship. Tell the stranger about the abandoned starship wreck and how I found their communication ID in the distress beacon. I begin to mention the anomalous space station, but they cut me off. It's outside. I think I'm safe. There are 16 of them. They look like... Ask about the 16. Fear and confusion dance within the eyes of the stranger. After a few moments of silence, they turn to me imploring. You don't know who you are, do you? Because I, I lied to me. It lied to me. It lied to all of us. I've, the sounds cut out, but their face linger on in silence. Boy, it fades into nothingness and communication. This must be Artemis, and they are clearly in need of help. I need to find a way to boost their signal. Locate a long-distance transmitter. This means we've got to go to a holograph. Which is a little bit of... That number there. What's that there? Right, it says new. That's our base. It says new archives decrypted. I think we're going to go to the base and do that mission. Um, before we move any further, then we come back to this system. We might as well um, do it. Ship's upside down. Is 
We may get some more tech from this uh, base here. Like you give me hazmat gloves or something like that. So here we are. There. Whoops, <laughs> can't get to the ship. I think it's the archives that we got to. And it's online to Sarah Pass. Okay, maybe it's the base computer. Archive recovery in process, data recovered 6% new level. Search archive. Entry follows. Found additional buried technology modules constructing proceeding smoothly. Recent expedition. Way there. Blueprints. Search the construction database. Ended downloading plans. Storage container. So we've now got the plans for a storage container. Reasonable archives complete. Let's stick with that. That means that if we wanted to, we could erect a storage container, but the trouble is the storage container is what we really need is solar power here. At the moment we've only got biofuel. Right, let's scan, see what's around while we're here. Might as well pick up a few bits and pieces to keep us going. I wouldn't mind doing that um, monument as well. And we're here. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll do the monument. We'll just pick up this. Mine, there's some pure ferrite now, see, we can mine some extra bits and pieces. <laughs> Although, we've got to resist the temptation to overload the ship. be some dihydrogen there. We'll just pick the dihydrogen up before we leave as well. Might need it. And again might not. Let's get back to Right, we've now got the Atlas path and the Lone Oaks of the Stars. <laughs> right, we've got this is Hollow Transmitter Detected. Which is this on this planet? This ship seems to insist on me being upside. Um, okay, let's just get up into space. Where is the Hollow Transmitter? interface. I would thought I'd be far enough away from the planet to Okay. That seems a little bit um incongruous. Game seems to be leading me on a little bit of a wild goose chase here at the moment. Approximate location. Um, this, I mean, it's the pro. Well, we can put down here. Yeah. Okay. That landed search. I'll, I'll play the game.
that says it's 328 in that direction. But what we can do is... There's a knowledge stone just down there. We're, we're pick the pulpy roots up because that will add get an entry in the what we call it. Right, if I've got anything I can refine, um, I keep looking for the other bits, but they we're too far away from the ship now, so. And here we are, we're at the hollow terminal. I could probably could have seen that from uh, when we came in here. What on earth is that? Just getting that in. We've got to go to the top, but the first thing we'll do is bring in the yep, navigation data. <clears throat> um, in here, pick up some more nanites, cryptic data. Um, don't need to restore the shields. Pick up some carbon. Oh, I think somebody actually said this that you can just keep holding it down and. We're certainly going to pick up the. module. Uh, we're certainly going to take this. Right, we've now got. I can now keep my slime because what I can do is put the slime into here. Oh. And we can start turning that out into nanites. I know it's a very small amount, but. I think in the current situation we're in, I think it's going to be worth doing. We can also start refining some of the rusted metal as well. I'll get relic. Oops, I caught that. We need an atlas path as well. Not all about that. Camp Elay. What we can do is send some of this stuff to the starship the moment. Get relic can go to the starship. Um, salvage data can go. I'm getting a little bit too much now. <laughs> but we can start converting some of this stuff into more valuable assets. Any more creatures here? Get rid of you, and we'll just get a little bit more sodium going on with. And we can go up through the climb up the ladders. It's nice to be able to climb up a hollow terminal doing this mission when you're not on a planet that's trying to kill you in an extreme environment. I think the last time I did this, uh, that was the case and I nearly died just trying to get up to the top of the hollow terminal. Um, and here, which is the hollow terminal. Okay, what's up with that? That's better. Hello, terminal activated. Multiple signals. Power host. A powerful transmitter designated to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. The extra power should allow me to re 
re-establish the connection to our Artemis, tuned to Artemis's frequency. I tried to locate Artemis's frequency, uploading the data from our previous communication. And um, speak to Artemis. I think we've got to go up here now. Oops, wow. Oh, that's different. Um, who's who's there? You, it's you again, isn't it? You really are real, aren't you? You aren't a dream, so you're real. I'm sorry, it's hard to think here. Something's wrong with the... Cause it's easy to create a better reality when you have to. I thought you might be a dream. I'm sorry, I haven't heard another voice for so long. Not since I cut the speaker of my exosuit. Uh, it's, it said such terrible things. Who? Ask who they are. Okay. Stranger smiles through the static. Uh, ask them. You, it's just like you. You are a traveller of worlds, aren't you? Ask what they mean. They do not respond with speech. They transmit a vision, a red star, and a fragile world. I do not understand the shapes within the whispers. I see life forms scattered and the far reaches of the galaxy. I see this stranger's breath yearning for the stars. I see myself slumbering in the crimson void, waiting for the dreams. And, th and through the darkness, I hear it said. A nominee detected. Breach warning. Designation, traveler, awaken. What I showed you just now, I, it has haunted me since I awoke. You must recognize it too. We are travelers, discoverers of worlds. From the moment you opened your eyes, you must know where, not like others. So did I. Before I became stranded here, I was on a journey to, to finding me. I cannot be a coincidence. It cannot be a coincidence. It cannot be a coincidence that you found this signal. Tell me, do you still have the data log from the crash ship? Upload the data. Upload my exosuit's records, including the strange transmission I received and the data I found at the crash vessel. Much of my equipment is damaged. I'm alone on foot, stranded on a sunless world. I do, don't know how your signal is reaching me, but this ship is you found. It belonged to me once. Perhaps there's hope after all. We need to work out where we both are. If you build signal boosters across this system, you should be able to triangulate your position. It'll be able to find you on my way and get you on uh, all the answers you need to seek. Agree with the plan. Thank you, Traveller. You're going to save my life. You're going to find me. Um, so we get, oh, yeah, we're going to build signal boosters. There we are. So we actually get an environmental scanner signal booster. Okay. Oh, ha. My suit ran out. Um, can we build a signal booster? Let's just see. I think, I think the first one is we've got to build one here, haven't we? Um, like we need metal tubing and... Um, what was it? Uh, a bit of metal plate and a nanite, isn't it? Signal booster, triangulate position. Suitable triangulation point. Pick up the pick up the signal booster with there. Make your way to the triangulation site. We can pick it up again. So we only need to build the one. And then what we got to do is travel to another train. And it's probably going to be off planet, yeah. And. not really in that much of a rush to get off this planet at the moment because I, I wouldn't mind just doing a little bit more exploration what's this here these look like whispering eggs um but they're humming some get some albion pearls from here that one might give us a little bit more money it's not a vast amount of money but i'll take it Yeah, I think we've done a lot with the mission in this part, so what I'm going to do now is we're just going to do some general exploration and see if we can... Uh, one more... See how much our Albion Pearls are worth. Not a lot. Well, I suppose there's 100,000 there. I'm certainly having a bit of an issue with the space, though. Huh. I think we 
just send those to the starship as well. Um, we'll turn these into nanites, get this out of the way. Anything else of value around here? Certainly wouldn't mind some more salvageable data. We've got a copper deposit there. We've got a cargo drop up there. And there's also something on the horizon there, so um, but we're going to go up that way. Right, actually, what's this? I go too far. Launch thrusters are 46%, so we're okay. Uh, don't get the. Oops, get up the side of the hill. But we've got a double cargo drop here. Have that. Oops. That is a uh, wow. Got knowledge stone. That's good. Um, just make sure the health is at maximum. Get this rusted metal. Because now we got a personal refiner. I can hear you, Mr. Sentinel. I'm minding my own business. Can you mind your own business? See what's over the horizon. I'm looking for um salvaged material. Okay, not seeing anything. Oh, we got one over there. 300 and... Thank you. What we will do is... Put that in there. We'll start turning this lot into... Um, oh, <laughs> did the wrong one. That's okay. And we're just going to go looking for salvage data and anything else. Actually, how many creatures have we got on this planet? Um, discoveries. Got 8 out of 12. What have we got left to find? Okay, the, the missing, what looks like the missing ones are under. Uh, got a rare ground one, and the rest are really in water. Okay, that's not a problem. If we can find us some water, find some water and get the rest of those creatures, it'd be great. Kill these on principle. They're annoying. Yep. Yeah. So long range attack. There's the on game. There it is. Grab you. Yeah, we're okay. Don't worry. Got a microprocessor. <laughs> Put that on the starship. There's the... Uh, turn that into... And put that there. What we'll probably do is turn some of this into pure ferrite. Because the pure ferrite might be worth a bit more. 
one thing I haven't got over here is this thing, that much machinery, some goop. Oh. Okay, let's destroy the blockage. Get the nanites. Keep using that carbon up to clear this slot here. Um, anything I can discard? Got a feeling we may need to get back to our base and get build that storage unit so that I can offload any valuables of whatever I want. Yeah, we're just gonna get back to the ship. Not far away. Just lost the picture. Shift the whole menu. And we take a picture. That would be the thumbnail. And on the way through, well, that up. Yeah. Aha. You can go to the starship. Well, turn that into. All right. And we're just offload the effigies in the starship. What I need is a trading station. Um, okay, let's just top up the. What I'm gonna do is take off. Emperor trade post, trade post detected, that's what I'm... Look at that, right next to us. That's the reason why I wanted to get the economy scanner. And if you can find trade posts, we one, you can get better prices, as um, been pointed out in the comments, and more importantly, there's other opportunities here as well, so... We are. And what we can do is go up here. This is a callback system. I don't think we've got any. We've got um, the keen effigies and gek relics. So, <laughs> right. So what we're going to do is that awesome runaway mold. Um, we'll sell that for the fifty-eight um, units. So about say rubles. Wrong game. Salvage data. I don't really want to sell that at the moment. We'll come down here. Defense. To sell the gold and the silver. Although we could probably have turned that in there. Sell the pulpy roots and the get relic. And we'll sell the Pekin effigies. Um, no. 104,000 that so we got this at the average price so we got some do I need anything that needs microprocessors can't store anything there power range come on it's only over there we need the teleporter tech um that's antimatter and three wiring loops. I will sell the Albion Pearls for a hundred thousand. That will a bit more. Keep the defense chips. I'm still keeping those because I might need them if I get into trouble. Um, what we will do is talk to these guys to get a bit more language going dialect help symbols the um, technology symbol Aha. 
didn't tell us what we'd learned, but it's okay. Oh, I like to help. Um, friendship symbol. Got the Corvax word for please. Okay. So we're starting to get a few more words in here. Buried cape. Um, travel symbol. The Cor Corvax word for where. Where are we going? I'm sure we used to get missions from these aggression symbol. Word of warning. Um, nothing up here. Ah, oh, looks like the, the goodies are down the ladder. Okay, we got a milestone accomplished. Oh, we've met 20 aliens. Uh, not one of my favourite um, explorers. It's, it's always that type of ship. I always get the impression that there's something missing. Oh, go away, get up the stairs. Just going to down here. My ammunition. Right, we've got a Corvax casing. Oh. A little bit carried away there. Sodium. Right. We'll just scoot back up the ladder. I think a little bit of standing with the Corvax could be useful at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll actually use the Corvax casing. Give it, offer a gift. That's increased our standing with the Corvax. Um. I think what we'll do is we'll get some more oh, 176. I'll put that in there. We'll work that. We'll stack that. I think I will sell the rusted metal. I know it's not worth very much, but at the moment our uh, I'd like to keep that microprocessor um, thing. Um, we've got salvage data. Um, I kind of feel that I want to make some money so that I can get another ship or something like that. So I think we will sell the sub minus two though. I think we'll keep it as if we can if I'm gonna sell it I want to sell it above market price. And I think this is where I'm gonna leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode, hope you found it interesting. I think what I'm gonna do is return to base and build a storage vault that I can offload load some resources which I may need. But I'll do that off camera, so until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.